Get ready, we're going to start with squats. Get those feet slightly wider than the shoulder width apart. Going to hinge at the waist. So into those squats. And slowly down. Pause at the bottom. And then come back up nice and slow. So taking about three or four seconds for the eccentric. Which is the going down phase. And then the concentric phase coming back up. Time for one more rep. Just lower it down and rest. Okay, now a little shake off, got another set coming up. So we're going to start in three, two, one. So go back down nice and slow. Slow down, pause, and then come back up. Slower you can do these on the downward phase, the better. A little less important when you're coming back up. You can do that a little bit faster. The eccentric movement helps build up strength. The slower you do that one, the stronger you'll get and rest. So if you want to speed the, uh, you want to come up a little bit faster on your concentric movement, feel free to do that. Keep the eccentric movement as slow as possible. Okay, get ready. Going three, two, one. So sitting into it nice and slow. Pause. We're coming back up. Sit back into that squat nice and slow. Pause. And then come back up. Okay, one more rep out here at least. You'll find as well you'll get a little bit deep on these squats as you start to move slower into them. Great way for helping develop squat depth. Okay, then get ready. So it's our final set of squats, slowly down. And pause, and come back up nice and slow. Last set on these. We found that your squats are getting deeper as well. The slower you're going, start to activate those muscles in a different way. Helps increase your range of motion. Last one, and rest. Okay then, so get ready, we're going to go into press up, so down onto the ground, hands just slightly wider than the shoulder apart, remember those arms back, elbows pointing back at a 45 degree angle, and we'll slowly lower yourself down, and back up, get that core engaged, this will increase the intensity of a press up, probably almost tenfold, down, last one. Let's finish the rep and rest. Okay, then get ready for set number two. If you find that with these that you're starting to fatigue, feel free to drop down onto your knees on your press ups. Okay, then get ready. You're going to start in three, two, one. And lower yourself down. Imagine you're pushing in uh, away from you with your hands as well. Great way to do press ups. You can generate force correctly through the muscles. And a little pause if you can at the bottom as well. Adds a little bit of benefit. It's known as the isometric hold or position. And rest. And then get ready for set number three. Then we've got 10 seconds. and slowly back up, controlled all the way through. Last 10 seconds. Okay, one and a half reps out in 10 seconds. 
slow ourselves down, finish off. If you've got a rep, let's finish it. Okay then, looks good. Get ready then, last set. So we've got 10 seconds. You should be really feeling your chest burn, also your stomach and your core working, shoulders working, your back also works as well when we do them slowly. So we're lowering ourselves down, 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 pause, back up. Time for one more rep. Let's squeeze the last one out and rest. Excellent, good work. Okay, then get ready. We're going to go into the plank walkout. So, toes on the up into your plank position. Just going to slowly walk our hands out as far as you can get them. When you get to a point where you can't hold it, just move yourself back in. And then we're going to go back out again. So each time, if you can, try to go a little bit further. So then we're bringing yourself back and rest. Okay then, let's get ready for our second set. I can really feel your core working on these, feel them engage. Okay then, get ready, you've got five seconds. So into the plank again. We're just gonna go forwards as far as we can, walking those hands forwards, then walk them back. To a position where you feel like you can't hold yourself, just come back up. I can change and rest. Okay, then two more sets. Remember, you can drop down into your knees as well if you're starting to get fatigued on these. Form is important, so it's okay to drop down, make it a little easier when you need to. So, on your knees. You can just go forwards. You might find that you can get a little bit further on the stretch. Just slowly move back. Go back in, back out, stretch out as far as you can. It's a very subtle movement and coming back and rest. Okay, then one more set. Remember, if you want to do it on your knees, feel free. If you want to go back onto your toes, or you've been doing your toes all the way through, you can stick with that as well. Okay, then get ready. Three, two, one. I'm going back onto my toes for the last set. Just give you time to recover on the last one. Bringing it back up, and back down. Nearly there. And one more step out. And time. Well done, good work. You should be feeling it on the midsection now on that one. Get ready for the low bridges. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Remember, we're coming up nice and slowly on these. So hips in the air. So bring them up nice and slowly. When you get to the top position, squeeze and hold the back of your legs and then lower back down. Again, we're curling the spine. Bring one vertebrae down at a time. And come back up. Squeeze and hold. Coming back down, nice and slow. And then we finish off the move and rest. Okay, then get ready. A little shake off. 
those planks, this feels like quite a nice little workout. A little bit of a rest before we get to the two long planks and levers. Get ready, so we're going up again. Coming up, three, two, one, up into that move. Lift those hips nice and high, squeeze and hold at the top. Imagine you're cracking a warmer in your buttocks, it's the best thing to do with this exercise when you get to the top. As soon as you touch down, come back up, just feel a little pulse bringing your hips back up at the bottom movement. Come nice and slowly and rest. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Lift those hips in the air. And just lower back down, nice and slow. Bring it back up, squeeze and hold when you get to the top. Back down, slowly back down. And rest. Okay, then get ready. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Lift those hips into the air, last set on these. And you squeeze and hold, and just lower back down. Slowly lower back down, touch the ground, come back up. Squeeze and hold. Just lower back down. Last set, last at rest. And rest. We're going to go up into a single arm plank, up onto your toes, place one arm under your shoulder, we're going to hold this for 10 seconds, get ready, 3, 2, 1, squeeze and hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Okay then, 10 seconds and we're going to go into our half levers. So, legs at the right hand foot, 90 degree angle at the knee. And we're just going to lift up nice and slow and lower the back down. Put your heels touch the ground, lift up, bring it in, just lower back down. Heels touch the ground, lift up, and lower back down. Three, two, one. And rest. Okay, we're going to go back into our single arm plank. Okay, so we're going to go on to the opposite side. Last one of these. Get that hand underneath. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Up onto your toes. Get ready. Hold it then. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And rest. Okay, 10 seconds, and we're going back into our half lever. Get yourselves ready. So then you put your hands under your hips, knees at 90 degrees, just levering at the hip, the hip hinge. Lift them up nice and slowly. When you touch the ground, just come straight back up. Don't let your heels rest. You almost have a little pulse at that bottom position. Just bringing yourself back in. So it's soften and then pulse back up. But doing it slower as well. That's where the skill lies. And rest. Well done. Good work. You've now finished the workout. So move on to the cool down video to complete your workout.